Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Paul Cicchini. Maria Chandler has the night off. Peoria's most violent offenders were given a strong warning tonight from a number of local leaders and police. The Peoria County State's Attorney is just one person on the Don't Shoot Task Force who told the group his team will work tirelessly to get them off the street. These individuals are the most violent offenders and they're the ones that warrant that kind of attention. If we're going to stop the violence, these individuals need to realize that they've got our attention. The Don't Shoot Task Force introduced a new part to its efforts tonight called the Most Violent Offender Initiative. A number of local and state law enforcement identified those most violent offenders. They're giving them an option to ask for help before they make another poor decision. Fox 43's Marvis Herring attended tonight's event and will bring us a full report a little later in the show. I'm, I'm, I've been a witness to uh, shootings, you know, and um, this just you know being a witness to it, and you feel like you know, okay, I've seen it, I may know something about it, you know, but I'm not, I'm not coming forth, I'm not going to put myself out there. Some people simply don't want to get involved when they witness a crime. Now, Fox 43 is searching for solutions, reaching out to Central Illinois and identifying problems and the people working to solve them. In part one of our two-part investigation, we speak with Terrell Rickman, a man who grew up on the streets, exposed to violence, and who understands the code of silence. Tonight, we hear why he decided to turn his life around. I'm only 26. You know, uh, I've been to state prison and federal prison. Terrell Rickman grew up in Peoria, running the streets. You know, the fast life, it becomes like an addiction. You know, you become greedy, you want more, you want more. Rickman's father, Terry Burnside, is a familiar name in the River City, at one time most familiar with the police. I always heard his name. You know, uh, it's maybe his first time hearing it, but uh, like, I see all his, key, all, like, all his friends, uh, T-Mac this, T-Mac that. You know, I hear, uh, your dad got all the girls, your dad got money. Burnside also served time, nearly 10 years between state and federal prisons for guns and drugs. Our passes are somewhat identical. You know, he went through, you know, just as about, or if not as much as I did as a child, you know, uh, being thrusted into that same lifestyle. In 2009, just months after being released from state prison, Rickman was locked up on a federal drug charge, facing life. It was an arrest and conviction that was part of a transformation, realized weeks later, when his best friend was killed. That was it for me. I, I reached my breaking point. I feel like if I continue to remain, I mean, if I remain the same person that I was, I'm always going to receive the same results. The time behind bars gave Rickman time to reflect. All the hopes, the dreams, and everything that I lost sight of, you know, I realized even though I was getting older, it's not too late to continue to pursue them. It's not too late to pick back up. A change in the federal crack law allowed Rickman an early release. When he got home, he got in touch with Carl Cannon, joining and eventually graduating the elite program. I successfully completed and graduated at, from there. Um, I'm currently employed at, at Keystone Steel and Wire. I've been there since my release. Rickman uses some of his free time to speak with kids about his life. I try to dig deep as I can with him, and I just try to be as vulnerable, as open, and honest as I can with him, and just, you know, tell them my story, you know, and just explain to them, you know, that I get it. I understand. I can identify with you. I, will, I, would, I once was you. Rickman says his talks are focused on helping kids make good decisions and doing the right thing. It's hard, but at the same time, I, I would, you know, being a victim of, the, of that myself, I would want someone to come forth. I would want someone to do the right thing so that my family can have a peace of mind, knowing that, you know, um, someone had the courage to, to step up and, you know, bring justice, you know, um, for us suffering our loss. Still many people don't come forward. Tomorrow night, we speak to those trying to break the cycle of silence, hoping to get kids and adults to do the right thing. Police in Peoria are investigating a robbery that happened Saturday. They say the victim was jumped near the 2500 block of Lincoln Avenue. Police say two or three people surrounded a man before attacking him. The suspects ran off with more than $200. The victim was punched in the eye, and doctors say he may lose his eye because of those injuries. A family's pet not even safe in its own backyard. That after police say three dogs were possibly poisoned yesterday. Police responded to two separate incidents in the 3800 block of Anchor Drive. The owner of Hannah, a small Yorkie, says they brought her inside, and within minutes,
Hannah was shaking and having trouble breathing. The dog's owners say they found small dough-like balls, which smelled like peanut butter in their yard, and believe that might have been the source of the poisoning. It's kind of rattled our whole neighborhood. Everybody knows about it. We've all been looking for them, and uh, it, it's been very upsetting that someone would hurt an animal, defenseless animal like that. Yes, she's all three dogs are expected to be okay still. Police are asking everyone to be aware of their surroundings, especially if you have dogs or small children. Governor Rauner laid out his plan to get Illinois out of the red during a stop today in the Twin Cities. And while Rauner intends to make some cuts, as Fox 43's Jacob Pecklow explains, Rauner's hoping many of those cuts are temporary. Before a packed house in uptown normal, Governor Bruce Rauner spoke boldly about his plans to revamp the land of Lincoln. You've got to change the structure where the, where the insiders can't bribe the politicians to get the spending out of control. But he says cleaning up the state's budget won't be done overnight. We've got to grow our way out of our problems. That's the only solution. A group of protesters spoke out against the new governor, saying his plans reward big corporations. We're making cuts and cuts over the last several years, trying to deal with the budget issues. We are in a crisis, but we don't look at it as a, as a deficit crisis. We look at it as a revenue crisis. It's why protesters called for new taxes against the rich to bring in that revenue. But Rauner says that just won't work. We're already bleeding off a lot of successful people who are leaving the state. Bloomington Mayor Terry Renner is skeptical of Rauner's plan, saying there could be a lot of good for business, but it could hurt his city's budget even more. We need some specifics to alleviate some of the fears that the state of Illinois is trying to balance their budget on the backs of mayors, because we have to make things happen. We can't dump on anybody else. As mayors, the tire hits the pavement. And normal council member Kevin McCarthy agrees, saying there's definitely some questions. He's, he's certainly proposing some pretty strict, uh, pretty deep things, and so how that ends up in the end, it's certainly a starting point to start a lot of these conversations, but where it lands, I'm not really sure. The jury's out on, on this proposal. I, I, I hope that he shakes up Springfield in the way that he's talking about, um, but we'll see. In normal, Jacob Pecklow, Fox 43 News at 9. Now, Rauner will be back in the Twin Cities tomorrow to share more of his plans with workers in Bloomington. Drivers, you're going to want to give yourself some extra time if your drive takes you along Forest Hill and Peoria. Instruction is back underway after workers took a break during the winter. Some lane closures began this morning while sidewalks and driveways are repaired. Closures will mostly impact westbound lanes nearest Knoxville Avenue. You can expect construction through the end of the month. A millionaire real estate heir arrested for murder. We have a recap of his day in court next. This is WYZZ Fox 43 News, first at 9. This portion of Fox 43 News is brought to you by Gailey Eye Clinic. The eyes you're born with are the only eyes you'll ever have. Through every stage of life, make the most of each moment and experience the vision you deserve. The physicians at Gailey Eye Clinic are committed to improving your life through better vision. Gailey offers the most advanced technologies in eye care, from routine eye exams to LASIK to laser cataract surgery. With 16 locations and over 70 years of experience, you can trust Gailey to make sure you don't lose sight of the important things. Call the Gailey Eye Clinic today. Gailey Eye Clinic, focused on you. Join us this Sunday as the Men's Sunday Basketball League hosts an all-day fundraising event at Peoria High School. 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the high school's athletic department and the MSBL Scholarship Fund. Come out and support sports in high school. Large original or flatbread specialty pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. Anso Nylon Carpeting, now at UFS, only $1.99 a square foot. Over 10 styles and colors to choose from. UFS, your flooring headquarters. About 10 minutes from anywhere. Tired of the cold? So are we. German Bliss is celebrating 75 years and wants you to turn up the heat. Think you know when we'll see 75 degrees? You'll win a chance to see Alan Jackson live. Log on to CIProud.com to register. German Bliss Equipment, Central Illinois' customer choice. East Peoria on the Storm Tracker Skycam Network. Brought to you by Forsberry Law Offices. Join us this Sunday as the Men's Sunday Basketball League hosts an all-day fundraising event at Peoria High School. 100% of the proceeds will be donated to the high school's athletic department and the MSBL Scholarship Fund. Come out and support sports in high school. 
Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. The millionaire heir of a wealthy New York family is facing charges of first-degree murder after being featured in an HBO documentary on his life. In the true crime series, The Jinx, Robert Durst appears to confess to three killings. Ryan Nobles has the latest on the case from Washington. A bomb Durst. For more than 30 years, law enforcement officials from three states have been on the case of Robert Durst, waiting for a break like this. Kill them all, of course. That is Durst caught on an open mic during a bathroom break in the midst of an interview for the HBO crime series The Jinx. The Jinx chronicles Durst's connections to three different murders his wife Kathy in 1982, his close friend Susan Berman in 2000, and a neighbor, Morris Black, in 2001. Durst was never charged in his wife's disappearance or the death of Berman, but he beat back a murder charge in the case of Black despite the fact that he dismembered the victim's body after the fact. A jury believed that Black was killed by accident as Durst was defending himself. Susan Chris was the judge in that trial. He's very intelligent, very cunning. I think he has thrived on the media attention since the trial. Durst remained free until he decided to grant an interview to the producers of the Jinx and was caught talking to himself, allegedly confessing to the murders. Authorities in Los Angeles quickly issued a warrant for his arrest in the Berman murder. Monday in a New Orleans courtroom, he waived his right to fight extradition to Southern California. Bob Durst didn't kill Susan Berman. He's ready to end all the rumor and speculation and have a trial. His lawyers may attempt to keep the confession out of court, but at this point, Durst is back in jail. I'm Ryan Nobles reporting. Now, it is unclear when Durst will return to Los Angeles, and according to New Orleans police records, Durst was in possession of a 38 caliber Smith & Wesson revolver when he was arrested. Week three of the Boston Marathon bombing, bombing trial today with jurors taking a trip to see some evidence. They inspected the boat where Johar Sarnayev was hiding before his capture, even seeing the notes Sarnayev scrawled inside that boat. Reporters said Sarnayev was unshackled and did not display any emotion as he, was, as he watched. Defense attorneys for Sarnayev are hoping to spare him the death penalty by proving he played a secondary role to his brother, Tamerlan who they say masterminded the attacks. Now it feels like spring, but just a few weeks ago, most of the country was buried in snow. We have the latest on the records broken in Boston this winter. But first, Rachel, warm and sunny today, hardly any snow left on the ground. It's true, and speaking of records, we almost broke a record with our high today, but not quite. We saw those upper 70s. Tomorrow will be a lot cooler. We'll talk about your St. Patty's Day forecast coming up after the break. When you set out to find new roads, you pioneer connectivity, champion efficiency, elevate form, reinvent a category, and you attract a lot of attention. Chevrolet, the most awarded car company over the last year. Right now, get 0% APR financing for six years plus $500 purchase bonus cash on this 2015 cruise. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. The secret behind Culver's North Atlantic Cod begins at sea. The cod we supply Culver's comes from the North Atlantic. It grows slowly. It has firm texture and wonderful white flake. I think we have the best fish sandwich in the business. Hand cut for Culver's. They are the filet mignon of the cod. They're not made ahead of time. It's done to order. Oh, look at that nice thin batter. That's the fish flavor come through. We even make our tartar sauce from a 40-year-old family recipe. There's no better cod in America. Welcome to delicious. The fact is, when you engineer a truck like Ram 1500 with best-in-class 29 miles per gallon highway and a 9,200 pound towing capacity, your playground gets a whole lot bigger. Get a great deal during Ram Truck Month. Get 0% APR for 84 months, plus 1,000 bonus cash for up to 11,000 in total values on Ram 1500 Bighorn Crew Cab. It's time to roll in this year's CWTC Annual Bowlathon. Get your team together or come as an individual and take part in the fun. Prizes, drawings, and don't forget the awesome morning of bowling at the Fast Lanes at Landmark Recreation Center. 
All proceeds benefit adults with disabilities served by the Community Workshop and Training Center. The CWTC Bowlathon, Saturday, March 21st from 9 a.m. to noon at the Landmark Recreation Center. Call 686-3300 or log on to CWTC.org. Peoria on the Storm Tracker Skycam Network, brought to you by KBL Design Center. Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. A marathon winter leads to history for Boston. More than nine feet of snow have fallen on Beantown this winter, an all-time record. Kelly O'Hara reports. It has been a torture. Yeah, it's been terrible. Absolutely terrible. Very exciting. Yeah. I'm proud of, to be a part of it. Mixed reaction that we finally did it. Broke the record for the most snow in the city of Austin ever. It's a record that most people probably didn't want to break. The snowfall record. 108.6 inches fallen on the city just this year alone. I think we just have to do that every once in a while. I mean, we live in Boston, so that's what New England's all about. How have you survived with all the snow? Well, you know, shoveling every week. Shoveling, plowing, then more shoveling and plowing. School cancellations, work cancellations, not to mention the MBTA. It's been a miserable winter, to say the least. And for most we met, they're glad, like us, it's over. I'm done. I'm done. As a skier, I love snow. Glad to see it. But I'm done with winter. I'm very excited. Spring is in five days. So. Well, we hope it's in five days. <laughs> yes, let's hope so. All right, well, Rachel, it's pretty much, I mean, feels like spring. It got almost summer today. It did almost feel like summer out there today. Not going to last a whole lot longer. Hope you enjoyed it today because we're going to be cooler tonight, tomorrow, unfortunately. It is still spring after all. It is spring, so it's going to feel more like spring. Here's a look on our KBL Design Center Skycam right now. A quiet start to the night. We are going to be dropping down to the 40s overnight tonight, but right now we're still looking pretty warm. Temperatures at the Peoria Airport 68 degrees under those clear skies. We did hit a high today of 79 degrees. Now I just want to draw attention to the record. We almost broke a record. You can see that was 80 degrees back in 1945. So this is the warmest March 16th that we've had in quite some time, and we did break the record for our 75 degree day giveaway by German Bliss. So tune in tomorrow at 10 p.m. We'll be drawing names to see who wins their tickets to see Alan Jackson. Even though we were nice and warm out there today, we were a little bit breezy. Winds are starting to calm down a little bit now. You can see those still coming from the southwest, about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow, those winds are going to shift to the north. It's going to be a windy day, and unfortunately, colder air to the north that's going to be pulling in our direction. You can see that cold air up in Canada kind of seeping down into Michigan. So we're really going to see some colder weather as we go throughout the rest of the work week, feeling a little bit more like spring. The good news is with this cold front, you can see we're really looking pretty dry. Any rain sticking to our north, that's moving to the east already. So we're just going to be a little cloudy as we go throughout the night tonight and into tomorrow morning. Mostly clear right now. We'll see a little bit more cloud cover come in by morning. We will start off the day in the low 40s. Winds are going to be a little bit breezy as we go throughout the afternoon as well, picking up especially tomorrow for your St. Paddy's Day. Make sure you wear a jacket if you're heading outside for the parade or any other activities. We'll hit a high in the afternoon of about 52 degrees. It's going to be cooler out there, but still feeling like spring and plenty of sunshine to make it hopefully comfortable out there. By around 10 p.m., we'll be in those upper 30s again. A chilly night ahead. We're going to drop down to below freezing as we head into tomorrow evening. But for your highs for the day tomorrow, Really not too bad. I know it's a little disappointing after the 70s we saw today, but we'll be, as I said, about 52 here in Peoria. It looks like Bloomington, 49. I wouldn't be surprised, especially if we see enough sunshine, that we will hit about 50 degrees. Your winds, you can see future track here. We are tomorrow morning around 9 a.m. Really coming strong from the north at 20 miles per hour, 20 to 25. That's where it's going to be breezy out, especially throughout the early part of the day. But by afternoon, that will calm down a little bit. And here we are tomorrow evening. Wind starting to calm down finally and we'll be a little bit calmer as we go throughout the rest of the work week. And even with the winds, tomorrow is going to be plenty sunny. Future track showing some cloud cover to start off the day. Here we are around 7 a.m. That will clear out. We'll see a little bit of cloud cover throughout the afternoon, but for the most part, lots of sunshine. It's not until Wednesday that we just start to see a lot more of that cloud cover come back in. Here you can see mostly cloudy skies for the day on Wednesday. Looks like a system's going to be working its way through as we head into Thursday. That should hopefully stay to our south and hopefully we'll stay dry here in central Illinois. We'll be tracking that as it gets a little bit closer. Temperatures throughout the rest of the work week, though, staying in at the 50s, below freezing Tuesday night into Wednesday, as I was mentioning. But most of our lows will stay in the 30s. And we are looking dry for the rest of the eight-day outlook. So that's some good news and looks like plenty of sunshine as we head into next weekend.
That's not too bad. Now, I noticed in your graphic when you said we came just short of our record high. Yes. I noticed in 1900 the low was four degrees. Yes, that was the lowest low ever on record. Right. So it'll be in the 50s tomorrow. Remember, it's not going to be yes. four. That's a good perspective, Paul. I like right. it. <laughs> Thanks, Rachel. All right, we'll be right back. Choosing from the $4 menu is not for the indecisive. Incredible values await. Behold the original double steak burger meal. The taco salad and chili cheese footlong meals. The garlic double steak burger meal. What's that sound, master? Hung through elbow. Try it. The $4 menu, where all meals are under $4. At Steak and Shake. You know, I get asked all the time, why should I lease? Well, how about the fact you'll never be upside down in your trade again? Or the fact you'll only pay tax on what you use? So how about a 2015 double cab Silverado 4x4 for just $380 a month? Or a crew cab Silverado 4x4 for just $465 a month? Now, maybe a truck isn't your style, so you want to do a 2015 Equinox for just $169 a month. And of course you still get the Greens Goods package, car washes, and so much more. You've got to go green. Not everyone is destined to be an elite athlete, but for those with chronic knee pain, performing even the simplest task can be a challenge. Thankfully, ICPR has a solution. Proven up to 90% effective, ICPR's knee arthritis program delivers medicine to the exact point it's needed most. Now you can play harder, run faster, live fuller. Limit the pain, not the activity. There's nothing like your natural knee. Call for a free consultation. A car accident can cause devastating physical injuries. Being hit by an under or uninsured driver can be just as devastating financially. I'm attorney Jim LaFonte. If you've been in an accident, call me. I know what it takes to fight for the compensation you deserve. I'm local, respected, and famous for getting my clients their fair share. Call me at 999-1111. To schedule a free consultation, call 999-1111. Normal on the Storm Tracker Skycam Network. Brought to you by Cook's Auto Body. This is Fox 43 News. First at 9. Just like with any uh, mood altering substance, it always has the potential to be abused. Powdered alcohol. It might be coming to a store near you. The federal government gave palcohol the green light. But as Fox 43's Hannah Hilliard reports, it's making many nervous, including go. state lawmakers and addiction experts. One man wants alcohol to ditch the bottle. And he is doing so with his new product, palcohol. Anywhere where weight is an issue, uh, having powdered alcohol is a lot lighter than liquid alcohol. It's powdered alcohol that comes in a pouch, but that's exactly what is concerning addiction experts. With any new product like this coming online, it, we always get a little nervous because, like I said, we don't know what the long-term effects could be from this. Jeff Dodson of the Addiction Recovery Center says it's just too new. We're just now on the verge of learning about some of this coming in. It's all new as far as the territory. Dodson says palcohol has the potential to be abused, especially by those under 21. One of the potential dangers would be for the teenagers to get a hold of this. It would be so much easier to hide in their mixed drinks. And it may not always be used for its intended purposes. We still don't know what some of the potential hazard could be uh, leading up to inhaling it. But the creator says inhaling it is not worth it. It really burns to snort it. Really uncomfortable because it's alcohol. As you would if you sniffed liquid vodka, it would burn like crazy. There's nothing pleasant about it. The company hopes the product will hit the shelves this summer. In Peoria, Hannah Hilliard, Fox 43 News at 9. Now, several states have, ban have introduced legislation to ban powdered alcohol, including Illinois. A bill was introduced at the beginning of this year. It's now moving through the Senate. It would ban the sale and purchase of this kind of alcohol. An OSF health clinic is open now after a potential measles scare. OSF Prompt Care on Fort Jesse in Normal closed for a few hours Sunday after two patients were concerned they had measles. Clinic followed procedure, isolating the patients and closing the facility for cleaning. Two patients were tested, but the results can take anywhere from a day to a week to come back. OSF says no one else is at risk at this time. So because we followed the proper protocol by um, cleaning the OSF prompt care location where these two patients came to, um, 
no other patients that came to our OSF prompt care are at risk. With the outbreak in Chicago too, that, that increases risk somewhat. But again, it, with, if you're vaccinated, it's not something to worry about. OSF staff is continuing to work closely with the McLean County Health Department as it awaits the results. More than 50% of moms talk about their children on social media, but are they sharing too much? Researchers at the University of Michigan studied social media and safe parenting. They found that although social media does offer parents an outlet for advice, parents who overshare can pose privacy risks for their family. Cyberbullying and a new trend called digital kidnapping kidnapping are some common ways strangers have reportedly stolen and misused family photos. The madness is in the air. We're taking a look at the high school basketball tournament's pending future in Peoria when we come back. Make the most of your tax refund with a big truck from Lynn Chevrolet Buick and make no payments for 90 days. That's no down payment. None. None. Zero. Not a, nothing. Zilch. Qualified buyers make no payments for 90 days on every new or used vehicle in stock. That's no payments for 90 days on Chevrolet Silverado, Chevy Equinox, Buick Enclave, Buick Encore, every vehicle in stock, new or used. Get the best deals on new and pre-owned Chevys and Buicks and make no payments for 90 days. Big trucks, little prices. LynnChevroletBuick.com. Pontiac on the Storm Tracker Skycam Network. Brought to you by Pontiac RV. At KBL, we feel a kitchen renovation means giving up your kitchen for a short time, but it shouldn't mean giving up cooking. With any purchase of new kitchen cabinetry, KBL will give you a brand new Weber grill for free. KBL, we make it easy. What's that? Oh, side. <laughs> what a show! Hooray! The soul. <laughs> Listen to Amaranth and Cockleburn back there singing in the shower. I can't even get out of here. <laughs> Mommy! Get answers to your home improvement questions on ciproud.com. Replace those drafty old windows with vinyl windows from Peoria Siding and Window. Your home is your castle, so visit your home network on ciproud.com. Here at WMBD 31 and Fox 43, we understand how important education is to the future of Central Illinois. This year, with our sponsors, we are celebrating the best of local students, schools, and educators. We are inviting senior class presidents from area high schools to team up with us and share stories of great lives that were shaped by parents, teachers, and schools. So keep watching and support our schools as Central Illinois students bring you stories of excellence. Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. The Morton School District recognizing the school's aides today, honoring one in particular. Today is Amy Harden's birthday. Amy was an instructional aide for us this year, and um, we lost her um, back last fall. 24-year-old Amy Harden died in a car crash back in October, but today the school district is remembering her with Aid Appreciation Day. One teacher says her aides are crucial to getting her through the day. I really, truly couldn't do my job um, without the people that are there to um, not only support the students, but support what I do, as well as other teachers in the classroom. Lincoln Elementary School provided its aides with a special breakfast and say it's one way the school is healing after Hardin's death. A major decision on the future of high school basketball in Illinois is on the horizon, leaving local cities holding their collective breath as time ticks down to the wire. On Saturday, IHSA plans to announce where the state basketball tournament will be held after this year. It says all options are on the table. Peoria and Champaign are in the running for the boys tournament. Bloomington Normal and Peoria are in the battle for the girls. Civic Center hopes to keep March Madness. It says an average of 60,000 people have attended the tournament in the last three seasons, though there are questions about whether those numbers have dropped. State Association says it's satisfied with the turnout and will take that into consideration. I think we're very similar to every other state association in the country. You know, anything short of uh, full capacity for the entire weekend, you know, you're, you're, you're always going to say, well, what could we have done differently or better to have gotten full capacity? But we feel like our crowds have been, have been more than supportive and more than um, energized. Our schools continue to report to us that the experience they're having uh, at the state finals, both in Bloomington Normal on the girls' side and in Peoria on the boys' side, has been uh, 
you know, very enjoyable for them. The Sears Center in Hoffman Estates is also vying for the boys' games, but only the 3A and 4A tournaments. IHSA says it's possible for the tournament to take place in two locations, but it goes against the traditional format of the basketball tournament. The NCAA Men's College Basketball Tournament starts this week, and that means lost productivity at companies nationwide. One outplacement firm says this year's tournament could cost companies nearly $2 billion. That's due to lost wages paid to workers distracted by all the basketball action. A 2012 MSN survey found 86% of U.S. workers devote part of their workday to all things tournament. Rachel, beautiful day out today. You didn't want to stay inside and watch anything on TV, though we're happy you're watching now. Yes, absolutely. But it was a beautiful afternoon. We're a little cooler now, and tomorrow we're going to see more seasonable temperatures, highs back down into the 50s. We'll talk about the rest of your work week and your St. Patty's Day coming up after the break. Get answers to your home improvement questions on CIProud.com. What exactly does Custom Bath Solutions do in bathrooms? Custom Bath Solution does full bathroom remodels. We do from the smallest of projects to the biggest of projects. We can do anything custom as far as tile showers, walk-in bathtubs, paint, plaster, electrical, plumbing, handicap accessible showers. We'll do vanities, countertops, toilets, sinks, lavatory faucets, handheld showers, shower doors, any safety feature you can think of, grab bars, a slip resistant coating on the bottom of your bathtub and what we offer is safety in the bathroom which allows you to stay in your home longer if you need to. At Custom Bath Solutions, if you can think of it, we can do it. What should homeowners expect when working with Custom Bath Solutions? Homeowners should expect a level of professionalism from Custom Bath Solutions. We'll start the project with you. We're going to be with you through the entire project uh, from the time of the sale until the project's completed. Our guys are factory trained. Uh, they've been doing this for 12 years. There isn't anything in a bathroom that we haven't overcome or can't fix. Any questions, we handle them. Any issues, we deal with them. If there's a problem, we get it taken care of. We want to make it easy for you. What is the best way to get started with Custom Bath Solutions? The best way to get started with Custom Bath Solutions is you can go to our website at custombathroomsolutions.com and there's a form you can fill out. Put your information on there, and then a representative from our company will contact you. Or you can stop by our showroom in Washington and see our full-size displays and set an appointment at that time for somebody to come out to your home. Your home is your castle, so visit your home network on ciproud.com. The first hybrid in America. A Honda. The first to meet the Clean Air Act standards. A Honda. And now we're the first to do something else. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event! Right now you can get an amazing deal on a Honda Accord. Named a 2015 IIHS Top Safety Pick. The Honda Dream Garage Sales Event. Get a dream deal on an Accord with a standard rear view camera. Now, at your Honda dealer. Now, your local weather authority. Fox 43 meteorologist, Rachel Kay. All right, today's weather made it a perfect day to enjoy a cool treat to help a great cause. It's Dairy Queen's Free Cone Day, and you still have a little time to get out. The day is in honor of DQ's 75th anniversary, and as part of the celebration, Dairy Queens in the Twin Cities are collecting donations for the Children's Miracle Network. That money will then go to the Children's Hospital of Illinois in Peoria. And it was a great day for an ice cream cone. It was, because it almost felt like summer out there. It's Pretty much was. Yeah, it's the kind of day <laughs> where you want an ice cream treat. Did you get any? Uh, no, but I bought ice cream over the weekend and then didn't eat it today when it was hot out. Oh, okay, that sounds like a great plan. Yeah, I'll save it for the next time. Because yeah, it's it. going to get warmer, right? It will someday, yeah. <laughs> uh, not, not tomorrow. That's all right. Unfortunately, but we had a beautiful day out there today. Here's a look at temperatures across the area right now. We're at 68 in Peoria, 62 in Bloomington. Already dropping down to those 50s for some of us, 59 in Havana right now, 58 up in Galesburg. As we head throughout the day tomorrow, though, temperatures are going to drop. So enjoy this warm weather. We hit highs in the upper 70s across the board. 79 was the high for the day in Peoria. Bloomington hit 76. Lincoln hit 78. Those are some of the highs that we saw today. We almost broke a record here in Peoria. The record was 80 degrees. So if you do want to tune in tomorrow to our sister station, we'll be announcing the winners of our German German Bliss 75 degree day giveaway. Even though we were nice and warm, we saw a little bit of cloud cover this afternoon. 
that is clearing out and winds are starting to calm down this evening as well. You can see those are coming from the southwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. Unfortunately, tomorrow the winds are going to pick back up coming from the north, pumping in a lot of this cooler Arctic air that you can see over Canada coming down into Michigan and Wisconsin right now. That's going to be heading in our direction, so we're going to see some more seasonable temperatures for our St. Patrick's Day celebrations, unfortunately. We're going to start off the morning in the low 40s, around 42 here in Peoria. Some partly cloudy skies to start the day, although that will clear out and we'll see plenty of sunshine as we go throughout the afternoon, so that will make it feel a little bit brighter out there, hopefully, but we're still going to be on the cool side. Highs in the afternoon hours only reaching into those low 50s, and it's going to be very breezy out as well. Definitely want to bring a jacket if you have any plans outdoors for the holiday. On tomorrow evening, we're going to drop down to the upper 30s. That's around 10 p.m., but after that, we're going to drop below freezing. We're looking at lows around the upper 20s for tomorrow night. Here's a look at future track winds. You can see those coming from the north at about 20 miles per hour to start off the day. By the afternoon, they'll be calming down to about 15 miles per hour, still breezy out, and it's not going to be warm enough like it was today where that breeze is going to feel comfortable. It's going to be chilly, but luckily those winds will calm down to about 5 to 10 miles per hour for the evening hours, and we'll keep those calm winds as we go throughout the rest of the work week. And plenty of sunshine. Here we are, future track starting off with some partly cloudy skies, but here we are around noon, looking nice and sunny. A couple of light clouds, some of the serious clouds that we saw today might work, work their way through in the afternoon hours. But we're looking mostly clear until we head into Wednesday. Here we are Wednesday around noon. You can see mostly cloudy skies really starting to cover the area. We're going to be pretty cloudy as we head through Thursday as well. You saw a couple of those light showers popping up to our south. A system working its way in on early Thursday morning. Looks like it's going to stay to our south right now, but we'll be tracking that as it gets a little bit closer to make sure we don't see any rain here in central Illinois. Next few days look like they're going to be on the cool side, though. We'll be seeing highs only in the low 50s as we go throughout the rest of the work week. Friday, Saturday, a little bit warmer, jumping up to those upper 50s. Here's a look at your full eight-day outlook. The good news is we will be staying dry, but it's going to be chilly, more seasonable temperatures. Um, you know, we saw the upper 70s today, but you can't complain a whole lot. That's more summer weather, so like we were saying earlier, we'll, we'll see more of that again. Just give it a few weeks. Yeah, we got a glimpse of summer today, back to spring reality tomorrow and for the rest of the week, like you said, but the good news is summer. Yeah. It'll some, be here eventually. Summer will come one day. And remember, day. the alternative, it could be a lot colder. Yes. Right. No, no single digits on there. No. Thanks, Rachel. Now let's check in with sports. Here's Kirk Pegler. College basketball season continues for the Illini and ISU Redbirds. In our Fox for Sports, neither headed to the NCAA tournament, but both are headed to the NIT. The Illini aren't crazy about the assignment. The Redbirds, though, are happy to get another game, and it's at home. We'll hear from both Illinois and Illinois State ahead in sports. sales event now through March 31st. Land Rover, above and beyond. Things are getting pretty exciting at Nissan. With bonus cash, there's no better time than now to get your new Nissan. Innovation, excitement, only at Nissan, now. Get up to $1,000 bonus cash on top of existing offers on select models. Bonus cash and soon. Shop choosenissan.com. Innovation that excites. Does the smell of a freshly bound presentation fill you with optimism? Do you love your wireless keyboard more than certain family members? Is your success due to a filing system only you understand? Could you and your portable printer inspire a buddy movie? If so, you may be gear centric. Someone who knows that the right office gear helps you do great things. And there's one place that has it all. Office Depot, Office Max. Gear up for great. Green still on the line. Thunder Evan neutralized. They cross over the line. Center and one through the slot for the one-timer. He scores! I don't believe it! The Thunder have won the court pop! The Bloomington Thunder are in the playoff hunt with only two home games left. Come to the U.S. Cellular Coliseum on Saturday, March 21st for Country Music Night when Team USA returns to Bloomington. Throw on your cowboy boots and hat and listen to all your country favorites. Tickets start at $10 or get a 6 for 36 deal. Bloomington Thunder Hockey. We'll sell you the whole seat, but you'll only need the edge. 
Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. Area leaders in Peoria still pushing for an end to violence in the River City, and they're focusing on the most violent offenders. Tonight, the Don't Shoot Task Force didn't call in street group members and gang members like they had before. Tonight, they called in a group of 13 men who fell in that most dangerous category. Fox 43's Marvis Herring explains. With their history, this is their pretty much their last chance. The Don't Shoot Task Force wants there to be no confusion when it comes to their intolerance for violence in Peoria. That's why they invited just over a dozen of the city's most violent offenders, those with records of gun violence, to Monday's call-in. I think for the most part that you would see uh, people that do have a violent history that uh, they are repeat offenders. This is focused entirely on the individual. State's Attorney Jerry Brady says his office, city and county police, as well as other state and federal agencies have teamed up tracking those with a reputation of violence and criminal felony convictions. These individuals are the most violent offenders and they're the ones that warrant that kind of attention. If we're going to stop the violence, these individuals need to realize that they've got our attention. And that was the echoing message in the room. Each speaker driving home that the 13 men have law enforcement's attention and each one of them can make a choice with what they want to do with that attention. Once they've been notified, we track that basically uh, forever. We will uh, review arrest reports daily. They can ignore it and suffer long sentences in prison or reach out for help and leave the violence behind. You're not waiting for them to slip up. You don't want them to. No, we hope they don't. You know, what we're hoping is they will take the message. That was Marvis Herring reporting. Some of the services don't shoot offers include job training, alcohol and drug treatment, tattoo removal, and a number of other programs like an emergency food pantry. The Don't Shoot Task Force invited 14 of the most violent offenders in the area. One of those people did not show up tonight. The city of Bloomington is looking to go high tech to help its citizens curb a pesky problem. Tonight at the city's Committee of the Whole meeting, council members got to take a look at the beta version of the My Bloomington app. It will allow for people to make quicker requests to city personnel for any issues they're having with their homes or the roadways. The app development began in November, but city staff still recommend waiting until it's perfected to download it. Hold off for now. Get excited about the fact that this is coming. It's really innovative. It'll be a great new communication avenue with our citizens. Um, but again, it's still very much in the development phase. The app will also allow people to take pictures of potholes. It will update information in real time to let someone know if the request has already been put in for a space. A local Irish pub is getting ready for its biggest day of the year, but will be without its longtime leader. Donnelly's Irish Pub in Peoria expects big crowds for St. Patrick's Day. Staff is busy preparing 900 pounds of cabbage, 600 pounds of corned beef, and 700 pounds of potatoes. The owner calls it fun stress. This year will be different, though. It's the first without the current owner's father, who started the business back in 1970. He died two months ago. His son knows his dad will still be part of the party. One man is taking action with his paintings. Still ahead, how it's helping his dog. Welcome to our One for Everyone sales event. This is amazing. Hashtag, I can't believe my eyes. Yeah, we have 0% APR financing on a bunch of models. Hashtag, sweet deals. Hashtag, cha-ching. You made my day. Hashtag, you rock. Hashtag, I'm telling everybody. Hashtag, word. Get 0% APR financing on an exciting new 2015 Corolla. Or lease Corolla for just $169 a month. Hurry into your Toyota dealer today. Thanks, got a great deal. Hashtag, I'm all hashtagged out. Toyota, let's go places. In small business, you have to work hard, know your numbers, and stay focused. I was determined to create New York City's first self-serve frozen yogurt franchise. And now you have 42 locations. The more I put into my business, the more I get out of it. Like five times the rewards when you make select business purchases with your Inc. Plus card from Chase. And with Inc., I choose how to redeem my points for things like cash or travel. How's the froyo? Just peachy. Literally. Ink from Chase. So you can.
Make the most of your tax refund with a big truck from Lynn Chevrolet Buick and make no payments for 90 days. That's no down payment. None. None. Zero. Not no, nothing. Zilch. Qualified buyers make no payments for 90 days on every new or used vehicle in stock. That's no payments for 90 days on Chevrolet Silverado, Chevy Equinox, Buick Enclave, Buick Encore, every vehicle in stock, new or used. Get the best deals on new and pre-owned Chevys and Buicks and make no payments for 90 days. Big trucks, little prices. LynnChevroletBuick.com. More people choose Ford F-Series to help run their lives, run their construction crews, their farms, even run away. And f 150s the truck that helps you run on all cylinders. That's why Ford F-Series has been America's best-selling truck 38 years running. And with one sold about every 42 seconds, you guessed it, they're running out fast. Now get an F-150 with 0% financing for 60 months plus 1,500 trade assists or lease for only $269 a month. Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. A man in Utah is turning a hobby into hope, all in an effort to save his beloved pet. Nicole Vowell explains. Apparently, there have been a lot of people who have liked it, and I've just been, you know, amazed and overwhelmed by it. He doesn't consider himself an artist. It just kind of happens the way it's supposed to happen. Yet, Sean Mitchell's paintings are making their rounds across the globe. New Zealand, Australia, uh, Newfoundland, a little squirrel behind a tree. <laughs> These beautiful works of art started with some ugly news. Hey. Hey. Hey, people. His playful five and a half year old Charlie <laughs> was diagnosed with lymphoma. Your dog has cancer. It's, you've got to be kidding me. There's no way. Somebody made this suggestion about this new therapy. We looked into it and go. To Vegas we go. A trial, a new kind of treatment. Once a week, more than 400 miles away. This treatment does cost a lot of money. It's experimental. One brush stroke at a time, Sean is working every day. I would be painting for 166 days straight. I'm doing three paintings a day. To help pay for Charlie's vet bills. So I made up, I paid up this flyer on a Friday night. A single sign in a local store and a social media post by Sean's wife. Have turned into so much more. Almost 200 people were sending in emails going, How do we get paintings? His inbox flooded with requests for portraits, each email with its own story. Uh, he was diagnosed with a spinal tumor. Paintings now piled up, ready to be sent out with love. And it's all for one special pup. And they want to help Charlie. And it's all, it's, it's, thank, thanks, Charlie. I could, I could never ask for anything better. Well, hopefully that treatment works for Charlie. The Illini and ISU getting ready for NIT games. Kurt Pegler has sports right after the break. This portion of Fox 43 News is brought to you by Menards. Whether you need a small repair or a whole new roof, Geyer Roofing has you covered. Our team of professionals will give your home or business the look and protection it needs while getting the job done on time and within budget. We value your business and offer quality craftsmanship at reasonable prices. So rest assured, with two generations of experience, Geyer Roofing has the know-how to get the job done right. There are a lot of roofers in Central Illinois, but what only the best will do, hire Geyer. Get your free estimate today. You see it everywhere nowadays. We call it the yield bump. It's a grower's way of saying you made a good decision. Because when you treat young corn with an early season application of Stratego Yield Fungicide, you get stronger stocks, healthier fields, and even higher yields. So get a jump on your yield bump with Stratego Yield Early Season. Chevy trucks always find new roads to conquer. We started with a family of the most dependable, longest-lasting, full-size pickups on the road. And now, introducing the pickup that unanimously won the 2015 Motor Trend Truck of the Year. All made of high-strength steel, only at one place, your Chevy dealer. Now during Silverado Truck Month, get a total value of $7,750 on select Silverado 1500s in stock the longest. It's Silverado Truck Month at your local Chevy dealer. Welcome to U.S. Cellular. My family of four would like to switch to your best plan ever. You know you don't actually need four people to get our best plan pricing. Oh. You can connect anywhere between two to six devices, and we'll pay off your old contract. We'll just take the two lines, then, for a phone and a tablet. So, how long have you been married? 
Switch and get two lines and eight gigs for just $100. A better value than Verizon and AT&T. Plus, we'll pay off your old contract. U.S. Cellular. Now, Fox 43 Sports with Kirk Pegler. Bradley has a new athletics director. He's Peoria High grad Chris Reynolds, who played college basketball at Indiana and served in the athletic departments at Western Michigan, Notre Dame, and Michigan State, most recently Northwestern. He'll be introduced as Bradley's 10th AD on Wednesday afternoon. Illinois will play the Crimson Tide of Alabama tomorrow night in an NIT opener. Thank goodness that's not a football matchup, right? John Gross admits he'd rather be getting ready for an NCAA game, but it's time to make the most of his second straight trip to the NIT. And we understand. I mean, there's 350 plus Division One teams, and you know the the first 100, so to speak, get to play in either the NCAA tournament or the NIT. So, you know, we're certainly not trying to be, uh, you know, where we're not grateful. We're grateful. The Illini play at Alabama tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Illinois State earns an NIT home game. The Redbirds, who finished runner-up in the Missouri Valley Tournament, will play Horizon League runner-up Green Bay at Redbird Arena on Wednesday night. I know we're excited. I know our guys are excited. Uh, no matter who we played or where we played, they were excited. But to get a home game, I think, is, is even more exciting for our players. And you know, we've got, I think we have a lot of basketball left in us. Redbirds trying to advance to the second round of the NIT for the eighth time in school history. It is the final week of the boys' basketball season in Illinois, and two area teams are hoping it's a March Madness run to Carver Arena. In Class 4, a normal community is one win away from a state Final Four bid and a trip to state. Standing in the way, top ranked Chicago Simeon with three Big Ten signees in their starting five. Obviously, they're one of the great high school programs in the country. And uh, from one of the best basketball cities in the country. And uh, there, it's going to be a great challenge for us. But when you're 4 A basketball and you're a big school like we are, you're going to end up having to play teams like this. You know, I think that works in our favor a little bit just because they just think we're a, a small town team that's gotten lucky so far. And, and honestly, I, they can think what they want. The Ironmen play Simeon in the Super Sectional at Redbird Arena tomorrow at 7. Meanwhile, the Manual Rams are one win away from returning to state after a five year absence. Coach Derek Booth says his team is peaking at the right time, especially on the defensive end. He says his Rams are ready for the challenge in tomorrow's state quarterfinal against Rockford Lutheran. Manual basketball is just expected to win. Uh, you know, you know whether it's the first game of the year or the last game of the year, and uh, that's a challenge that we accept when we wear the uniform. So uh, I'm just happy to still be playing uh, this time of year. Yeah, it means a lot to, to like, you know, come back to state. We haven't been out there a couple years. Time for us to get back on the map. Tomorrow night's super sectional is in DeKalb at Northern Illinois, and the tip-off is set for six o'clock. Good luck to both Manuel and the normal community. Again, they try to reserve spots. In the March Madness State Tournament in Peoria this weekend. With your first on Fox Sports, I'm Kurt Pegler. UFS, famous for deals on Adams Street, downtown Peoria, 10 minutes from anywhere. The secret behind Culver's North Atlantic Cod begins at sea. The cod we supply Culver's comes from the North Atlantic. It grows slowly, it has firm texture and wonderful white flake. I think we have the best fish sandwich in the business. Hand cut for Culver's, they are the filet mignon of the cod. They're not made ahead of time, it's done to order. Oh, look at that nice thin batter, that's the fish flavor come through. We even make our tartar sauce from a 40 year old family recipe. There's no better cod in America. Welcome to Delicious. Green Ford has gone mad in March. Drive home a Fusion or an Escape and save over $6,000. Or lease a Fusion for $149 a month. Or an Escape for $179 a month. Or even a new F-150 for $259 a month. Or save $13,000 off the purchase price. Save big with $4,500 off the Explorers. Or lease one for $269 a month. Or a new Mustang for only $229 a month. Don't miss this madness in March. Save on the crazy deals happening now at Green Ford. Nothing beats a Green Ford deal. You gotta go to Green. If data is everywhere on your farm these days, why are insights still so hard to come by? Shouldn't it be easier to know what's happening in each field and make the best decisions? Data alone can't provide the answers, but data science can. That's why Climate Pro uses data science to turn all that data into something you and your trusted advisors can actually use, no matter where you are. Learn how Climate Pro can support your decisions with data science. Contact your dealer.
Did you know the most searched auto brand on Google is Ford? Can't get better than that. Would it surprise you to learn that Ford is America's best-selling brand? You called me, you were like, I, I found my car. But what's really interesting, more people stay with Ford than any other brand. I personally fell in love with the car. I don't know if I'll ever not buy a Ford. Most searched, most purchased, most loyal. I don't have time to drive something I don't love. Get a Fusion with 0 for 60 plus 1,000 bonus cash and 750 competitive switch cash or at least for $179 a month. Your news continues now. This is Fox 43 News, first at 9. All right, finally tonight, the city of Chicago getting ready for St. Patrick's Day in style. People gathered Saturday to watch the annual tradition, dyeing the Chicago River green ahead of the city's St. Patty's Day parade. So we're going to luck out a little bit with the weather tomorrow, right? Yeah, you know, it's going to be sunny out. and That's a that's, bonus. That's a plus. It's not um, going to snow. It's not going to snow, no, and it's not going to rain either. But it's going to be pretty windy out there, and our temperatures are going to drop quite a bit. We're looking at highs tomorrow only in the low 50s, maybe, maybe jumping up to the mid 50s with that sunshine. Winds will be coming from the north at about 15 to 20 miles per hour. Here's one last look at your full eight day outlook. I hope you enjoyed the warm, beautiful weather today because no more 70s there for us. We're looking at highs in the 50s, maybe some in the upper 40s. We'll be freezing Tuesday night heading into Wednesday morning. So, uh, Bring out your jackets again if you've already put them away for the season. Yeah, that's too soon for that. It is. All right, thanks, Rachel. We'll see you right back here tomorrow night. And don't forget, we are always on CIProud.com. Good night. Good night.